friends this is aparna and welcome to aparna's magic let's go to the kitchen and let's get started we need bengal or eggplant this is haldi powder or turmeric powder this is kashmiri red chili powder this is jeera powder or cumin powder this is dhaniya powder that means coriander powder this is yogurt or dahi this is kitchen king masala this is bhuna hua besan that means roasted gram flour this is garam masala powder this is makkhan or butter and dried kasuri methi cut the bengal or eggplant into four long pieces our oil is nicely heated up so put little bit of haldi powder or turmeric powder and salt that means namak mix it now add the bengal or eggplant let them fry for a while they are nicely fried so we are going to take them out add 2 to 3 tablespoon of yogurt or dahi now add 1 teaspoon of this is bhuna hua besan that means roasted gram flour now mix it properly make a smooth paste like this this way now in the same oil put 1 teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of kashmiri red chili powder and dried kasuri methi mix it now add the dahi or yogurt mixture in this mix it nicely and let them cook for a while they have been cooking for 5 to 6 minutes now so in this stage put 1 teaspoon of this is jeera powder or cumin powder 1 teaspoon of dhania powder that means coriander powder 1 teaspoon of this is kitchen king masala and salt to taste or namak mix it now add the fried bengal or fried eggplant now let them cook for a while they have been cooking for 7 to 8 minutes now so it is almost done so in this stage put 1 teaspoon of this is garam masala powder and try to kasuri methi add one dollop of butter in or makkhan mix it very gently and you are done stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel Hi friends this is Aparna and welcome to Aparna's magic 
Let's go to the kitchen and let's get started. We need eggs. Here I take three eggs or three ande. This is chopped onion, two medium size. This is chopped tomato, two medium size. This is chopped capsicum, one medium size. This is ginger garlic paste, adrak or lasun ki paste. This is haldi powder or turmeric powder. This is Kashmiri red chilli powder. This is garam masala powder. This is chaat masala powder. This is dried kasuri methi and butter. That means makhan. This is boiled egg or ubale hue ande. This is tomato ketchup. This is chopped dhania patta. That means chopped coriander leaves. This is bhuna hua jeera powder. That means roasted cumin powder and lemon or neem. Our oil is nicely heated up. So put one dollop of butter or makkhan. Let it melt. Now add chopped onion or chopped pears. Let them fry. Now add chopped tomatoes. Add one tablespoon of this is ginger garlic paste, adrak or lasun ki paste. Mix it. Now add one tablespoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder, one tablespoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, one tablespoon of this is garam masala powder, and one teaspoon of this is chaat masala powder. Add salt to taste or namak, and. Mix it again. Now let them cook for a while. They have been cooking for five to six minutes now. So in this stage, we are going to put dried kasuri methi. Mix it. Now add add the eggs or ande. Mix it. For another three to four minutes now. So in this stage, we are going to put one tablespoon of tomato sauce and capsicum. Mix it again and let them cook for a while. They have been cooking for another two minutes now. So it is almost done. So in this stage, we are going to put one teaspoon of this is bhuna hua jeera powder. Add chopped dhania patta, that means chopped coriander leaves. One dollop of butter or makkhan. And squeeze a lemon. Or nimbu. Now mix it again. And you are done. Add 
the end add two boiled eggs and you're done stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel